I am James Milton Turner. You probably have seen my name around St. Louis, but you probably have no idea what I may have accomplished. For you see, I was born into slavery in 1839. My father, John Milton Turner, was a blacksmith who was allowed to earn his money as he worked as a slave. And in that time, he earned that money. He paid for his own freedom and then saved up enough money to free my mother and myself. I was told that he paid the sum of 50 whole dollars for me, but it was not in vain. For you see, later on, I developed a love and a joy for education. The Reverend John Barry Meacham started a school in the African Free Baptist Church in his basement that taught us reading, writing, and arithmetic. Until one day, someone heard that Negroes were being educated at the church. For you see, in St. Louis at that time, there was a law that blacks were not allowed to be taught to read. And law enforcement came in and stopped the learning. Undeterred, the Reverend Meacham took a boat and he took us to the Mississippi River. And right before sunrise, he would row a small skiff with us in it out to the middle of the Mississippi River into a larger boat. And there we resumed our studies of reading, writing, and arithmetic. We had no idea what the Reverend Meacham was doing, but we just knew as children that we were getting an education. Years later, we discovered the genius of the Reverend Meacham. For you see, by putting the boat out in the middle of the Mississippi, that was the dividing line between Missouri and Illinois. So technically, we weren't learning in Missouri at all. We were learning in a free state, in the state of Illinois. I later went on to Oberlin College and obtained an education only to come back to witness the country at war. And yes, it was the Civil War. And I served in that war. I was wounded in my hip but I did survive. I later on realized that our people would need education. So I began to advocate for colored schools all throughout the state of Missouri. And I successfully lobbied the Missouri Assembly for the first appropriations for the first colored normal school for teachers, then known as Lincoln Institute. From what I've been told, today it's now called Lincoln University. And not only did I advocate for those schools, my final chapter of my life, I had an opportunity to advocate for Cherokee freedmen and got them a very handsome settlement from the United States government. So remember that name, James Milton Turner.